Welcome back to Fired Up Garage. Today we're back on the 72 Bronco project. I got my buddy Jack here. Jack uh, goes to church with me. He's also an expert in these small block Fords. He's got a small block Mustang that makes what? 800 and... 810 at the tire. 810 rear wheel horsepower. So he is the guy that we need today. We're gonna be swapping out the heads. We had those 289 heads on it and uh, just kept having more and more problems with them. And Jack said, hey, I got an extra set of heads sitting on the shelf from one of the Mustang builds, do you want to have those? So we took them in the machine shop, got them all worked. So today we're pulling the old heads, gonna put the new ones back on, and pretty soon get this thing fired up. Oh, look at you, man. Let's head our shoes here. I'll wait for it, it's just a bunch. It's already three, so I got that. Shouldn't be any holding that on. Young man's strength. Oh, so, Jack, you want to tell us a little bit about these pistons we found? Well, from what I can tell, they look like they're going to be forged. They're uh, dished and they have built in valve reliefs top and bottom, which means they're designing on either side of the motor. And so I suspect they're not original Ford pistons. And my guess is they're aftermarket. Don't know whose they are yet. We're not gonna pull the motor down that far, so we won't be able to get at the part numbers and things like that. But maybe at the top, we'll see some stampings and be able to tell for sure. So if we find some numbers, we'll look them up. And if not, we're rolling with it. We're gonna send it. Essentially what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up, some will get in the motor. So, you know, we'll, once you get it running, we'll run the motor for, 20 minutes and then do an oil change on it. Yeah. You realize, <laughs> you realize you're gonna be a terrible influence for all the kids. That's all they ever wanted. <laughs> Make videos and oh like, man, when they oh, found out like, that I have oh. a YouTube channel that has like 50,000 views, on video, I can only like, imagine you're yeah. like the coolest old person we know. That's right, that's <laughs> right, yeah, old person, yeah. So, like, Felpers, like, you can see all these, these lines, right? Yeah, on this side they don't have them, but if you put it on right on the front, on this side, it's this way, yeah. If you do it the same thing on this side, it's just, huh. just crazy. Felpro is the same rank, they all do it. And that one? Sure. <clears throat> All right, so we're just back from some great Greek food for lunch. We took a little break in the midst, uh, but now we've got everything's all clean. And we've got the head gasket sitting there. And so we're going to start putting the heads back on. Gonna have it all back together today, probably. I'm gonna be firing this thing up soon. Right. So we got the heads on, fresh back from the machine shop, and they're looking beautiful. Jack's putting some nuclear anti seize on over here. That's right, nuclear grade, nickel based. You never have a problem with these bolts coming out. Why'd you switch over from Chevy's to Ford's? So, when I was driving my Monte Carlo around, I was in the Navy, I was up in New Hampshire. It's 1984, and my brother was also in the Navy, and he was stationed up there. And I had my Monte Carlo, and it was a 355. I had put a Muncie four-speed in it. I mean, the car was cool. So my brother calls me up one day, he's like, hey man, I got a new car, you want to come see it? I'm like, oh, it's like, it's got a fire engine red Mustang GT. Oh yeah? And realized in 1984, that was the fastest car that year, production car. Yeah. So he takes me for a ride in it and he scares the crap out of me because <laughs> the thing's so fast. And it was only 175 horsepower. Wow. But it was fast. I'm like, this is great. Was it just gears and stuff or how, why just, were they so fast? Torque. Yeah. It's 175 horsepower, but 280 foot-pounds of torque. Wow. And so it'll throw you back in your seat. Yeah. Any gear, right? You realize this is coming right out of the gas crunch. Yeah. 
So as soon as I went for like that, I was hooked. I'm like, that's it. Got to get one. <laughs> So we wrapped up a long day, really great day. We got those heads installed, and we were hoping to get it all back together, but what we found was uh, we weren't quite sure of the pushrod length. We knew the Mustang pushrods wouldn't work because they were supposed to work with uh, roller lifters, which this block didn't have. So we thought maybe the Bronco pushrods would work. They ended up being a little bit too short. Those were uh, 6.825, I believe, uh, too short. So we went and got, picked up this uh, pushrod length checker from one of the local speed shops. And it's uh, really great to throw it in there. You can adjust it. And then when you get done adjusting it and finding the proper length, then you can measure this out and order the pushrods. So we found out that the pushrods actually needed to be uh, 7.0 right on. And so we uh, located those, ordered those, and those will be coming in pretty soon. So we're just kind of waiting on that, but the heads are on, looking good, the engine's looking great, got a bunch of uh, great parts going on. Uh, also, while I was picking up this, Jack went ahead and threw in the igniter, electronic ignition uh, converter. We're using the stock distributor, but we got rid of the points and condenser and everything with this. So it's going to be great. Next time we get together, uh, Jack's coming back over in a week or two. We're going to throw it on, and uh, we're going to be pretty close at that point to firing it up. We'll see. Hopefully we can fire it up and maybe even uh, take it around the block that day. Doesn't have any brakes, but you know, for the first drive, it might be fun anyways. So keep watching. Thanks for uh, checking it out. Subscribe if you want to see this thing running when we get there. And if you got any comments, questions, thoughts, any of that kind of stuff, throw them down there in the comments. Thanks for being here. Fired Up Garage.